Hi everyone, welcome back to Kupani with Isa. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to August. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm here to give you some um, updates and then of course a beautiful friend meal that I got from my sweet sissy, Sweet Sadie JTV. Um, if you guys don't know who Sweet Sadie JTV, she is a baker, a cook, a Dollar Tree, um, hauler, um, a contagious smile, thoughtful, thoughtful, beautiful sister. Um, and we love her and she is amazing. And I had um, asked you all if you guys had seen the inspirational bookmarks, I will reimburse me and my ch my sister at church because we have a revival at the end of this month, um, a woman's revival. And this beautiful sissy of mine found them for me. Look at the beautiful packaging. I mean, she goes all out on her packaging. Of course, I can't show you the beautiful front because of per address reasons. Um, but she was so beautiful enough to find not more than six. She found more than six. They are gorgeous. I just slipped the top. So please go over to Sweet Sadie J. Sweet S W T Sadie S A D I E T V and let her know that couponing with Issa sent you guys over. I think there's a note in here. grow in christ amen it says hello isa i hope these will help you out my gift to you xoxo and it says second of peter 3 18 it says grow in the grace and knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ amen these are the prayer cards look how gorgeous i mean these are gonna go in their goodie bags. These are gorgeous. These are not hit my area. Look how beautiful. Let me go in. These are bookmarks. And they're from Jots. Let me turn them around so you guys can see. And then this is the front and this is the back. And they all got a different verse of the Bible and they are magnetic. And of course, um, I think this is, I think this one is the other one. This is beautiful. My sister was here from crisis. She was like, I want that one. So yeah. So what we're gonna do is with the um, scissors, we're gonna cut them out through here. So that way we don't ruin the package and then they all go in there. So we have enough space to cut it out through the plastic and that way they stay intact and we can put the candy and whatever not. But they are so beautiful. And of course, we already sent out a thank you card. Um, and of course, blessing sister, sweet Sadie J with the beautiful. So thank you, sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They did not hit our area. And as soon as she did the walkthrough, um, we were like, oh, that's perfect because we have a, a women's retreat at the end of the month. So thank you. Make sure to go over to Sweet Sadie J TV. Let her know we sent you over. Sweet Sadie J TV. Let her know that Couponing with Lisa sent you over. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, and I have some announcements. Um, I'm looking over because I have my notebook. Always have my notes because I don't want to miss anything. I was actually looking for this. This is, um, that's mine, so I put it there. Um, thank you all for remembering my husband's birthday. He was so shocked. Again, not even family did it, and you all went all out wishing him a, fi a happy 50th birthday. Um, we just, again, cash stuffing envelopes. That's what's been helping me. Um, like I said, I ran out of food. Um, inflation is here um, and remember with the cash stuffing envelopes we have been we knew the college applications were gonna be here we had to save for that it was 17 college applications and that's not free because we did not know where he was gonna be accepted at 
Um, with that being said, some of you thought um, that my son was injured. What I said in the last video was um, he had three scholarships accepted. Praise God. And for some reason, the secretary and whoever at the school lost that paperwork because when you get a scholarship, they just send you a congratulatory letter in the mail, which we have with personal information in it saying congratulations you got approved into such and such and i believe i said it in one of the i actually said it at the prom and at the graduation um video setup and it's nowhere to be found in the computer so college moving they came in college already started here and we met the dorm roommate and we're moving him in and we're excited and we still had to get him some stuff and someone comes in and they're like oh can we speak to you and we're like okay i thought we were going through rules or whatever and they're like oh he can't move in because um we need xx amount of money and we're talking about thousands close to lots of thousands of dollars and we're shocked we're like wait what we're like, what? And he was dumbfounded. My son, you know, as a teenager, there's other peers around him. He got really upset. He was trying to hold it in. I was shocked. My husband was shocked. We're moving him in. We just met the other parents. We are, you know, we're in the dorm room. My son was very, very upset and we had to leave. We had to physically unpack, repack and come home. Come to find out. This just happened to one of my cousins who is been there for in another school. And this young lady, same thing happened to her. Um, so now we're getting into a, a, a battle here if it's just happening to Hispanic students. These kids have busted their butts. And, and are we being racially profiled here? Because these kids have worked their butts off. We have proof of this, you know, they got approved college move in day you're, you're having these kids move in you know what about if i was going to move out of state if i sold my house and this is if he was coming from another state or city and that was going to be his apartment so it was really really upsetting he's here with me college is just um 18 minutes away so we're driving him to and from um but yeah it's it's very upsetting um my family member she's very disgusted with the school she actually dropped out she's very very upset um and is going now to another college but very very disgusted like she was actually moving because her parents are moving away to another state so for her it's very nerve-wracking and i was like wow is this what we're really facing now like we have paperwork and you're kicking kids out of college so yeah, that was what happened. But some of you thought my son was injured. So I wanted to clarify that. Also, we give God the glory. Um, I seen the fundraiser for Frugal J. I know I don't have the um, butterflies because I had to move because again, remember with prom and graduation, my son's wall, that wall right there is full of all his accomplishments, um, his name, pictures and all that, it's there. So I don't want my son's face or name or anything coming out on YouTube. I want to keep my family private. Um, and then all that is staying there until I can um, fix up his room. My daughter is finishing um, moving out. So that's going to be my office. And then we have to rip up and um, throw away her old bedroom set and all that and rip up the rug. She lived here for 25 years. So you can only imagine um, and then we have to um, redo my son's room um, and then um, move stuff around and off. But all that, you know, has his name, his pictures, you know, and stuff like that. And I don't want that on YouTube. I don't want that on social media. So um, the butterflies are still hanging, but I don't want his personal information on there. But the fundraiser was a success. Um, I did see the video his sister made and we see the video of him with his eyes open. Um, it's still a process, but we give the glory to God that she was there. His eyes are open. He has a beautiful smile. Um, she specifies, you know, he's still not talking. He's still not recognizing, but glory be to God that he's, his eyes are open. Um, 
he wakes up he goes back to sleep but glory be to god for that we're still praying for frugal j and all the family for joel vasquez um so please um we're always praying for him at church um a couple of days ago i just finished doing a street revival here i do it every year where i open my house to the public um in the front and we were doing a prayer service for him again i can't put that on youtube because we have kids we have homeless and we have other stuff here and we do not have um uh permission to put people's faces on here so with that being said continue to pray for frugal jay also um 600 boxes getting ready to go when i do my food shopping when i go out to the stores i don't show everything that i buy because again i want that to be a surprise also my third year anniversary is in september that's coming up we're gonna have a lot of fun birthdays in september we're gonna have a lot of fun you know that i always have giveaways going through that month so we're getting ready cash stuffing envelopes again going back to that that is something that i recommend you guys do so you guys know so i had the money for the birthday cake that was put away from the beginning of the year so what we do um and you can follow um my girl um oh my goodness mystic budgets you can follow shirley's real life you can follow um budgeting oh my god eileen and this oh my god her name was i was just looking at her video there's two ladies on here that are three ladies actually four ladies that are doing the cash stuffing envelope she just cashed stuff her um paycheck so make sure but mystic budgets real life and budgeting oh my god she was just doing it i'm so sorry she's on there check my playlist and what i do is at the end at the beginning of 2022 i already know birthdays anniversaries so that money goes in at the beginning of the year we know what cake what um two or three and you guys know that i reuse if it's not dirty broken or ripped i reuse tablecloth um i didn't have a tablecloth for my husband because the one on next to the microwave got ruined so we tossed that um, but my table was disinfected. It was clean. I did have balloons and you've seen how I set it up. Um, I knew that he wanted a carrot cake. I've done it in the past for him. But this year it was the 50th. We wanted to do it nice. We were going to throw a party, but for what? He was like, no, you know, it's on. I want to just have it simple with the heat and all. We didn't have it. I was like, okay. What do you want? He loves his favorite Chinese. We made sure prices are going high. So I made sure that the Chinese food and then it didn't even get delivered. We have the Chinese store right across the street. I knew what time we were getting home and my daughter was coming out of work. We knew. So I was like, okay, what time are you going to come home? I knew my son was coming home from college. So I was like, okay, boom, 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 boom. So everything would be nice and warm. He went to go see his mama and I made sure that I walked up there. The food would be hot. The, um, she knew us, she knows us and she gave us a free um, two liter soda, which was nice. Um, they don't always do that, but she knows us and it was really nice. I had cups and plates and stuff from over from the street revival. So that was there. Also plan ahead. If you know that you're having events, if you know that you're having like the street revival i had that food set aside so when i tell you that i ran out of food i have boxes or shopping bags i had the food for the revival set aside i had the drinks set aside and again if it's six or more people chipping in it's gonna help you i actually had 10 people chipping in for that event so it went quickly for me it was easy it was a load off and again we start at the beginning of the year this is the day that we're going to do it god willing rain or shine if we're going to have a rain date if we're not and god willing the weather was perfect we were able to feed everyone we were able to congregate we were people came over for prayer people came back to god and that's the most important thing and everything was disinfected we had enough masks we had enough sanitizers everything was beautiful everybody helped me clean everything went out without a glitch and 
we had enough food we fed everyone everyone had enough so there you go so make sure your planner your calendar your cash stuffing envelopes everything went out without a hitch so when i tell you guys that i ran out i knew what i had for certain events but then when it came to us personally i knew like meats i knew that i was gonna run out but personally i had canned goods so we we love soup we had cereal i had oatmeal but i did run out of milk but god was so good the pa food pantry called me and we got a gallon of milk we had bananas we had fruit believe me you and even if i didn't have milk i've made oatmeal and cream of wheat with water trust me we can make it happen so with that being said always 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 have a backup plan um i had a question from brenda brenda I haven't seen you in a while brenda had a new baby um she moved back to puerto rico the wonder i haven't seen you around here brenda used to be um four blocks from me i have not seen her and i knew something was going on because i used to see you all the time brenda emailed me after wow girl six months i haven't seen you brenda had a baby she moved back to ponce congratulations mama um and um she had some couple things going on but she moved back um but she told me um i noticed a lot of of default um not giving you um bad comments but um what happened with all your couponing so again back to the questions couponing's here stop it um stopped i was just um texting on the page to naturally nikki um from saving with danielle saving with danielle she just did four videos back to back she did cvs walgreens she did um cvs and she did walmart amazing 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 saving with danielle i have to email her and i have to get her cash app um information i have to get something to her right away mystic budget i have to get something out to you right away um and these ladies you know they put it out there um in her area she has been doing amazing couponing amazing cashback offers she's been getting money makers done and in her area just stop doing coupons she can't find tie she can't get gain so if any of you are getting the tie and gain coupons just get in contact with saving with danielle and she will buy them from you or she will reimburse with some type of product but yeah it stopped so naturally nikki was saying that she was trying to get newspapers in her area with coupons inside well wawa here just put out a uh excuse me a notice in their store that they're no longer gonna sell the newspapers because people stop buying the newspapers they're just sitting there well listen you're selling a newspaper for five to seven dollars and the coupons are no they are not there and if they're there by the time the cashier is ringing other people people are stealing the newspapers why would I pay seven dollars when you're not letting me check in when I get home they're stolen boom nobody's gonna buy it seven dollars for a newspaper really no no i wouldn't even buy it dollar tree stopped selling the newspapers in my area because it was happening again um they actually have a couple pictures on the wall in the cinnamon sin area where shoplifters got caught stealing the newspapers and stealing products cvs in my area i felt so bad for one of the cashiers got punched in the face because they were still in tie and game. Now everything is locked up. The cold gate is locked up. You must have money or debit card on hand in order for them to release the product to you. It's ridiculous. The poor lady got punched in the face. I felt so bad. And I go to that CVS. I used to go to that CVS. I haven't hit CVS, what, maybe since what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago I went or one week ago, I don't even remember because it's not worth it it's not so um another thing i wanted to say it was um answering back to brenda it was the white bags that i featured months ago months ago it was where we used to get the shop right the aldi the little um the green giant uh, the green giant the giant the acme save a lot all the inserts were in there 
and sometimes we would get a save or we would get a png they stopped companies are not right here across the street in the condominiums right across from me in the apartments where my sister used to live at they used to have them what's happening is they're not being distributed distributed the right way and people are no longer using them so they're going around noticing that the bags are just laying there at companies are no longer willing to pay printing and it's just a waste of money and i've seen them laying around the street and guess what you can go into people's property just to pick them up so with that being said no more inserts i know walgreens shop right cvs has not had a circular out this week i didn't have a cvs or a shop right for last um week i know i showed you the one because when i went physically to shop right the cashier gave me hers because she's a cashier they must have one in order for the customer to say if they're wrong or right on the price she was nice enough to put it in my bag that's the only reason why i showed it on the video but for now i don't have any circulars this week i must go physically online and search everything up and write everything down on a piece of paper now what are we going to do if they have a super coupon or a digital it's going to be on the web page you must print it or you must download it on your phone and if you don't have that code or that um qc code you're not going to be able to use that coupon so yeah it's crazy out here guys i wanted to Sorry that the video is long, but I wanted to answer Miss Brenda um, and I wanted to answer those um, questions um, from Miss Brenda and some of you because I know some of you are emailing me. But thanks again to Miss Sweet Sadie J, my sissy, beautiful, beautiful package. Sorry that the video is long, but I wanted to um, give these questions out because I know some of you were concerned and it's um, important for me to answer these questions. But also make sure that you guys are stocking up as much as you can. I know that I'm doing good on canned goods. I have fruit, um, tuna fish, chicken cans, even though the sausages, the corned beef, the luncheon meat, um, black beans, I'm counting. I love, I never knew that my kids were going to love black beans. Beans is beans. You can make anything with black beans. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Meals with Maria. She has been doing good, not sponsored. Make sure you go over. Also, we have a new sixth grade teacher. Um, it's her ch channel's name is Miss Jackie, MS Jackie. Make sure you go over. We just um, met her um, through here. She is a middle grade, sixth grade um, history teacher, and she's doing pantry challenge she just started school i know some of you in florida puerto rico and in the um east coast started school miss jackie just started school god bless you all have a blessed safe school year um she just started school she shows you how she set up her classroom um and she has a small small channel that's root for miss jackie she did an amazing pantry cleanup pantry challenge um, use up what you have anything that's open anything that's about to expire go through go through your stock pile pantry freezer um, deep freezers and go ahead and use it up you guys seen how I did it I did it for a couple days and we got rid of so much stuff and thank God we didn't have to toss anything we used every single item that we had in here all I have is canned goods and Little by little, I have to hit ShopRite, CVS, hopefully Dollar Tree and Sam's Club this week. Those videos are going to be coming up, but please go over to Miss Jackie. Let her know that Couponing with Issa sent you over, and let's help each other up. Miss Rosie Nobrega hit 400 plus, rooting for her. Um, some of you hit the 1,000 mark. Congratulations to all of you. Some of you are up to seven, eight hundred, nine hundred. Let's keep rooting for each other. Um, also, please, if you guys can send a get well card. I want. I had that on the other page. Queen's life has been in and out of the hospital. They operated her. They operated her mother. Um, she dislocated her. Um, her. Uh, oh my goodness. Her cadera. My goodness, if I can speak, her leg, her leg and her thigh, 
Um, she had two major surgeries. I know her mom's been in and out of the hospital. She's been um, having pre-recorded um, videos, but if you guys can just send a get well card, um, I know she put her cash up up there. Just send a get well and make sure that we are of rooting for Queen's Life. Queen's Life, we love you, girl, and we're rooting for you. Get well soon. Love you guys. Sorry this video is long, but I wanted to get out there to you guys. I love you all. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, and I love you all. Thank you. Bye.